Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, on my last couple episodes, I had a couple people uh, try to imply that I was too much of a pussy to make a parasite farm. So here you go, guys. Look at this. We got a parasite farm right here. You guys can suck my nuts. All two of you who said something about that. Yeah, I bet you're feeling. I bet you're feeling real big now, aren't you? Huh, Morty? Alright, uh, but yeah, that's not actually it. Uh, we do actually have a parasite farm here. And this isn't, this isn't the survival world. This is a, a creative world. This is, like, for testing purposes. Um, so I did do this in creative. I, I don't think that the way this is set up is, I mean, technically it is actually possible to do this in survival. You do need trap craft and the parasites mod. And you do need to find a mob spawner. Uh, but once you do, the issue then comes with um, isolating the beckons. So ideally what would happen is you'd come down, you would like be in a cave or something. Also, why is it so bright? There's too much light. Uh, there's this light coming in from down there somewhere. Fuck. Um, yeah, so ideally what would happen is you would... You would find a mob spawner. Actually, that's the first thing. You need a mob spawner. So you would find yourself a mob spawner. And then, once you have a mob spawner, you're going to force a beckon to spawn underneath it. So you'll have to just kill a bunch of parasites slowly until a beckon spawns. I don't... And you know, there's no other way. And then, what you have to do is, while the beckon is spawning shit, and while the spawner is spawning... Well, I guess you can pause the spawner. Where's that light coming from? Okay, well, okay, so there's... Here, I'll, I'll just show you guys in, in creative. Mode creative. Okay, so look, let me walk you through this little process right here, because it is pretty tight. Um, although, I, I don't know why there's so much light coming from down there. I don't know. Earlier, the light wasn't traveling through the hoppers. But yeah, so there's a mob spawner up here. Um, I put a line of blocks around the edge right here, uh, one block below the spawner so that the monsters, the mobs can still spawn. I lined everything with barbed wire, so since the mobs are up here at the top, the parasite, uh, thing, the beckon is going to be spawning the flying guys, uh, it likes to spawn these bomber guys, which will spawn, come up here, and usually die because they're still touching some form of barbed wire. And then these guys will die, and as they die, they'll spawn the smaller eruptors and, and shit. And a lot of them will fall down here and die. And then all their shit goes into the hoppers. A super complicated hopper system that ends up delivering everything into a couple little chests down there. So let's go see if we've gotten anything from that. So it's not super fast. Sometimes it'll like turn off for like five minutes, but... It is working, and even with the light seeping through from down here, it's still, like, the monsters up there are still spawning. So, there was a, um, there was a skeleton spawner, but I got rid of it, so now there's just the zombie spawner. There was, you know, a zombie and a skeleton right next to each other, and the bed connection ended up dying. So I figured, let's just have one, hopefully, uh, the beckon will spawn. Also, you have to make sure that you do allow the beckon to emit to... So when the beckon spawns, here, I'll just I'll just show you guys. But look, as you can see, it is working. We're also getting some crystals of skills, infected flesh, pieces. So, I mean, some arrows and stuff from, from when we had the skeletons up there. So I'm going to show you guys what the process looks like. But I'm going to do it in creative just to make it faster. So we're going to grab a beckon. Um, and we're going to go, because you need a mob spawner. So let's just hit like one of these buildings. There's probably going to be one in one of these floors. Let's see. We got lucky first try. Nope. One more level. There is no more level. All right. Cool. You do need a spawner, and you can't get spawners in creative mode. You got to just find it. Okay. That was a good one. Um, I don't know. Looks like it's just one level. Man, did we really hit the only building? No, there's got to be more. Yeah, here's some right here. So, we're gonna block this off. So, with these spawners, for example, they're indent- they're like indented one, so, into the ground. Um, so in order to get the maximum amount of mobs spawning, we have to come in here and- oh, look at that, that's cool. We have to come in here and, uh, where are the spawners? 
are tripping. Yeah, they're right there. Is this three blocks. Oh yeah, this roof is three blocks. That's weird. Okay, so they should be like right here. Look at these spiders are all happy. And notice the spiders are the only ones spawning right now. Uh, because that's the only mobs that have room. Wait, where are the spawners? They're right there. So you have to clear out the spawners like this if you want all the mobs to spawn properly. And then what you're gonna do is, you know, uh, we're gonna s set up the room before we try and force the back to spawn. And for us, we're just going to just spawn the back because we're in creative mode. But if you were in survival, you would have to do it by hand. Um, you would have to just fight a bunch of parasites until the beckon spawns, like, kind of in the middle. And as soon as it spawns, let's say it spawns uh, right here. It's going to spawn on this block right here on top of this, okay? So what you're going to do, the second it spawns, you need to make sure that you need to allow it to infect this block. You need to break the block two below it. Oh, fuck. Actually, you can't have it on an infected block. Um, unless what you can do is you can you can go like this. Let it infect uh, these two top blocks. And you want this one to be something it can't infect. So we can use obsidian, but bricks also work. And so do stone slabs. I'm sure there's other bricks. Apparently, like raw ores work as well. So you're going to have this. Just ignore the monsters. Uh, we just have to wait for it to spread, which when I spawn it, it doesn't want to spread for a long time. It's kind of annoying. Alright, let's just get it in this Come on, buddy. Yeah, just get out of here. Alright, let's hit it one time. It's not spreading. Okay, so, okay, well, this will spread, right? And you're gonna wait till this block right here is infected. And what's gonna happen is it's not going to spread anymore because if you did this, it's not touching anything else and it's going to stop here. So you're going to have this block be infected and that one. And what you're going to do is you're going to destroy this one. So it's just sitting on the infected block. And, uh, I mean, you don't even have to do that, actually. Uh, yeah, you could just take out the two and have that one. But anyways, right now, it's sitting on an infected block and it's not going to spread anymore. And the fact that it's sitting on an infected block means that it will actually heal. If it wasn't sitting on an infected block, if we were to damage it, it would never heal. But since it's sitting on an infected block, it will slowly heal. Let's see. Come on, buddy. You can heal. Alright, it doesn't want to right now. It's spawning, I guess. But yeah, I mean, you guys can see it's already spawning shit because these spawners are spawning mobs, which make the thing in danger. So when you're at this level, um, in game, ideally you'd have or you'd have disabled these uh, with torches or light or whatever, so you don't have to worry about them right now. You, you would be dealing with this. So this is why I'm saying, I don't know how the fuck anyone's actually gonna do this because even when you do have this set up, now you gotta set up the whole room with all the hoppers. You gotta line the walls with, with barbed wire and shit. So it is possible to do this in survival, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. There will probably be an update to Parasites that'll, where people will figure out another system before, uh, before anyone does this legit in survival. Um, but yeah, guys, this is, this is a Parasite farm, um, and it works. Look, we'll just, we'll just wait. We'll, we'll just wait for, so there's monsters up there, should spawn pretty soon. There's some mobs, there's some zombies. I see you, zombie. I see you, fool. Yep, there you go. The, the bomber guys again. And when they die, they release a bunch of ruptures. So, someone in the comments, they said that, uh... You can get all of the droppable items just from ruptures. Um, like, you don't need to kill specific ones to get specific things. I don't know if that's true. I hope it is, because... The whole point of me figuring this out is to try and make a, a farm in my survival world. Also, it's weird how they don't, like, why don't they just stack? Okay. Um, to make a farm in my survival world so that we can, um, we can get lure blocks. But all we're getting is infected flesh and fragile piece uh, from the ruptures. And the way this works, it's not really spawning any bigger guys. I think if you want it to spawn like adaptive, like like just bigger bigger guys, you gotta um, make this room bigger. 
I don't think they have enough room to spawn. Also, the issue with this setup is that there is no... There is nothing for the parasites to spawn on on the ground. So sometimes, it'll spawn... They'll spawn on the block directly. Like, there'll be, like, some infected cows and sheep and shit. But there's usually no, uh, a, like, big adapted parasites and stuff. So... Maybe there's just not enough room. Not enough room for them to spawn. I don't know, but I'm not giving this any more room. If if we spread this out, then things could fall and they won't actually hit the hoppers and the barbed wire. So yeah, guys, this is it. This is a uh, this is a parasite farm. Um, I mean, it's working. Uh, yeah, it's working. However, we're only getting rupture loot. So again, we do need to do some research and see if that's going to be enough. But if so, I mean, guys, feel free to use this. I think I may be the first person to do something like this. So if that's something you guys find impressive, uh, please let me know in the comments how big my pee, pee is. That really makes me want to make more Minecraft videos. Just talk about my pee, pee in the comments, guys, and I'll make more videos. All right, guys, I will see you next time. That's going to be it. Have a good one.